Ruffman, humble media genius. And now it's time for me to answer your questions about media, technology, and random stuff. <clears throat> but let's keep it, you know, centered around media and technology. <laughs> Deli, age nine, asks, can hackers get on your texting conversations? Fantastic question, Deli. Hackers are people who might try to snoop on what you are saying. Like when my cousin Bluff Ruffman tried to figure out what I'd gotten him for his birthday. The joke was on him. <laughs> I totally forgotten about his birthday. Anyway, although the answer is probably no, it would be very hard for hackers to sneak into your texting. The best way to use texting or anything else where you send messages is to never write something you'd be embarrassed by or that would hurt someone else's feelings if lots of people read it. Devin, a.k.a. Monkey Boy, age 10, oh, I like this kid, asks the following. How do you know if you spend too much time with your phone instead of your family? It's simple, Monkey Boy. Just ask yourself this question. How many people are in your family? If you don't know the answer, then you're spending too much time on your phone. Andrew, age 6, asks, do you ever scratch your fur in public? Well, Andrew, perhaps I could ask you the same question. Hmm? In my case, the answer is that I try not to, since dog fur, as much as I love it, does fly around a bit when scratching. The one exception is when Felipe, that flea with the announcer's voice, Hello, Ruff. Are you talking about me? My voice is exceptional, is it not? <laughs> yeah, if he's on me someplace, that gets a little itchy. Today, I am wearing my soft shoes, Ruff. Out of respect. Oh, hey. <laughs> Thanks, Felipe. They do feel comfy. Well, that's all we have time for today. See you next time. Give me a regular pencil that you can put in a pencil sharpener. Boom. 